Hi everybody. This is Keiko. How have you been doing? I just wanted to say hi and I am not sure this video will be posted in my uh, YouTube channel after the election or before the um, American election. But I just wanted I, I just wanted to show you where I am. This is not green screen. This is not fake. Behind me, this city view, city night view, it's real. So where do you think I am? I am currently in Tokyo, Japan. And this is the real view. I can show you the proof. You can see reflection of myself in the window, not in the mirror. This is the window. And then beyond this window, you can overlook the, gosh, Tokyo Tower. All the buildings, 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 buildings. Wherever you go within Tokyo and stay in the high rise hotels, business hotels, all you see is this city view, buildings, illuminations. So this is the uh, Shinagawa Prince Hotel overlooking the uh, Tokyo city view from 35th floor. I'm staying in this 35th floor. My trip to Japan is ending. I have one more night to stay here. During this uh, four weeks, almost whole month trip for me, trip to Japan for me, I've experienced some miracles and I've witnessed my family members' miracles, and um, and I experienced that very very deep spiritual integrations and the spiritual detox uh, purgings. I was able to release a lot of unwanted energies and a lot of things that I no longer need needed. It was I was able to release that. So because of the, uh, this spiritual purging and detox, I suffered a lot. It, it was not any um, in, uh, flu, cold, or COVID-19. I was able to pass the mandatory COVID-19 testing at the airport and two weeks self-quarantine uh, requirement. I was able to pass all of that and so I, after that, I was able to go uh, visit my hometown, which is Sapporo, Hokkaido. It was amazing. Then came back to Tokyo and spending a few days, few nights here in Tokyo. So I will tell you, talk about my experiences little by little, maybe in the next few videos. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful I'm not sure some of you might think it's beautiful. Some of you might not think it's beautiful. It's overwhelming. It, Tokyo o always overwhelms me. I'm not good with the energy of uh, Tokyo or busy cities. And I, I really, really, it was hard for me physically, this trip, because of the spiritual integrations and purging. Some, some say this is an ascension symptom. Experiencing the uh, headaches, I was vomiting, nauseousness, room and the world was spinning, um, experiencing horrible, uh, terrible body goals. And I was really relying on painkillers and um, headache uh, aspirins. I usually normally refuse to take any painkillers, but because of my busy schedule while I'm here in Japan, I, I had to really take the painkillers. But I definitely uh, feel that something is shifted within me. 
something is different within me, in me. And I, this trip was significant for me. Something was urging me to travel in the midst of this virus, the craziness, the world is upside down. This time, a lot of people ref, um, avoid traveling, but my spirit was urging me to travel this time. I don't know exactly why I had to come here, but I definitely, uh, this trip was definitely necessary, needed for me. And I'm, uh, um, I'm receiving the messages that the real reasons why I had to come here in the midst of this crazy, crazy world. Later, later on, I will know the exact um, reasons why I had to hurry to travel to Japan in this time. So one, only one thing I want to share with you. So in Japan, I've been in Hokkaido and Tokyo only, but some, uh, what, what was different here in Japan and my current home in the United States? More and more people are starting to wear masks and uh, more and more places are actually um, requiring people to, forcing people to wear masks in the United States or even Europe, other countries. But here in Japan, I, I can't say 100%, but 99% of time, so 99% of people here in Japan, everywhere I went, everywhere you go, they are wearing a mask, even outside not questioning why they being forced to wear a mask. No question asked. No question is arising. And people wear masks everywhere, including outside. That was really, really strange and awkward for me and uncomfortable for me. But if you are not wearing a mask, even in outside, some people may say something. Some people may stare at you as if you are a criminal. That's why I had to wear a mask. I'm a wimp, so I had to wear a mask because I was afraid of people's stares, persecutions. But a lot of people look like they, um, NPCs and AIs and I even felt sometimes this is a weird weird feeling I even felt that I possibly I could be an NPC or an AI so meaning that this might be a copy my avatar is a copy here and my soul might not be here anymore. I'm just, you know, I remain here as a 3D body, but this is a copy version of myself. And my soul is not here. That type of feelings, I can't explain very well, but sometimes that type of thought came to me. Could I be an NPC? Am I real? And interestingly, after I experienced the severe uh, vomiting and the spinning of the world, the, the room and the everything, which I had never experienced anything like that before, this spiritual integration, the spiritual purging. But after that, I felt that a sense of like total shift, something is different, something is absolutely different. And I 
I no longer been triggered by trivial things, like things that used to trigger me, used to trouble me. No longer I am triggered. That type of strange feeling. But this trip was really, really necessary for me. Some, my spirit was urging me to travel in the midst of this craziness, crazy time. Normally people would avoid to travel, especially overseas. But this time I was urged to come to Japan and I have the feeling something inside of me is telling me that I will find out the true reasons and more reasons later. The district was very significant for me. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now from Japan.